Maybe, Sarah, we'll start with you with regard to the kind of overall theme and story for Netflix. Is this one that you feel, is, is it one that maybe gets people a little bit more excited about Netflix as a company again? Or is there still so much work and competition that it's going to take a lot longer? I think Netflix avoided the fire, but they still feel the heat. Right now, Netflix is in a position where they're no longer the clear and undefined winner for streaming for the foreseeable future. They have had the seat at the throne for so many years, Dom, but I think it's become apparent that increased competition is really starting to eat at their lead. Now, the thing that would make investors hopeful is that there are clear signs that the streaming ecosystem, the sandbox that Netflix is playing in, is really healthy and continuing to grow. But it used to be that even if that streaming ecosystem pie was smaller, Netflix captured the entire thing. And that made Wall Street really excited. Now, moving forward, I think it's pretty clear they're not going to capture the entire thing. And they might try to present metrics that make it seem like they're in the clear you know, winning path. But the reality is, Dom, when they try to introduce their advertising tier next, uh, I think it's early 2023, it's not very clear, at least to me, that they're going to have some sort of clear advantage from the outset. You know, Disney's been doing advertising with Hulu, especially for so long. They're the clear winner. You have companies like Peacock who have the entire ad infrastructure of NBC Universal. Same thing goes with Paramount Plus. I really am concerned about Netflix's dominance for the foreseeable future. All right, so, so James, maybe all of this has been priced in, right? I mean, this is a stock that has lost 70-some percent of its value entering that earnings call yesterday, and it's up about 6% mm -hmm. right now. It had been up about 13% right after the results came out. It doesn't sound like some investors are convinced that this story is one that can really turn things around on a more secular basis. I think you have to separate between the market and the Netflix stock right now. I think the tone of the market is shifting. I mean, re remember, this is a company that's strictly traded on sub growth. And now you have a declining sub base as well as downside the third quarter guidance, which would have been inconceivable to see a rising stock in the first half of this year. So expectations have come down. But I also think that you're seeing a better appreciation of the mean reversion of growth rates, which we've written about this year. Basically, you had this huge pull forward in demand, and it's not as much that the growth rates have come down structurally lower and the opportunity has come down, but rather we're coming back to the original growth curves for, for the tech sector more broadly. But as far as Netflix is concerned, I do agree that the, the road ahead is tough. I mean, the ad wars are real. I mean, if you think about the differentiation between Netflix versus a, a, an Amazon, a Facebook, a Google, it's really not that much. And you can argue that Netflix is more akin uh, to, to the linear television. So I, I think that the roads ahead uh, are, are not that easy uh, for Netflix, uh, even though you do have the pop in the stock here near term, given the uh, lowered sentiment. James, could, could I follow up there uh, with regard sure. to, uh, from an investor perspective, right? Yeah. Is, when it comes to Netflix, is it, though, yeah. still, is it a favorite of yours, or do you, would you go somewhere else if you wanted that exposure to streaming content? Somewhere else. I mean, if we want exposure to streaming content, we don't go where we're involved. And, and that's a company more like Spotify. I mean, really what we see is a, a, a bifurcation between platforms and services. We think platforms will increasingly command premium valuations. That's the Amazon, the Facebook, Google, uh, as well as you know Spotify, which is morphing into a platform as they bring on the creator economy onto their platform. Netflix, on the other hand, is a service. So when you think about the longer term valuations of these companies, I think that services will command lower valuations than what we've seen in the past. That's Netflix. And then platforms, on the other hand, will command more premium valuations. So we're not involved in Netflix. We are involved in Spotify. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that near term, Netflix, uh, just given the low expectations uh, of the market, um, you know, obviously the stock should benefit from that. All right, Sarah, we're going to give you the last word here. It, for, for, the, for the longest time, we talked about content as king, and Netflix had all of it, and it, it was producing all this great stuff, and it was putting all this money behind it. Uh, how much more money can they put on this, and, and, and can content really get them out of this hole that they're in right now? Content itself is not going to get them out of this hole. They said yesterday that the $17 billion that they are spending this year on content 
that's going to remain in the same zip code was the word that they used for the foreseeable future for the next few years. And that's kind of stark, Don, because if you think about companies like Disney, they're spending $32 billion in content. And so Netflix, in my opinion, is going to have to figure out how do they increase their revenue, maybe drive a little bit more investment in tech content if they want to be truly, truly competitive in the streaming wars. Yesterday, Reed Hastings sort of credited Stranger Things season four for the user growth bump. But let's be real, Dom, other than Stranger Things, what's the last big series that you coalesced around with your friends on Netflix? Sure. They're going to have to have hit after hit after hit. And I don't know if they're going to be able to do that if they're not keeping that uh, content budget increasing in the next few years.